Hello. So yeah, this is my uh, room tour. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Now. So yeah, over here we have my works main workstation, which is uh, where I basically produce my songs and write stuff lah, basically. So if I turn around. So first thing is the PC and it looks like this, you know, we have these uh, glaring lights there, you know, just, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, nothing much about it, I think it's mostly just um, a PC that works and it's kind of, it's just enough for what I need like, for producing and music and stuff, yeah, and I don't think I'm gonna get into all the specs and all the details. Uh, I'll spare you all that trouble and you all can just, I guess, find it online or something. Yeah, and then um, we have actually these wires here, they're just kind of there. Yeah, I don't really know where to put them. So yeah, moving on, uh, you know, these two monitors. Uh, they are my main two monitors for which I use to do work and uh, play some smaller other games lah. like for example right now i think i'm playing hogwarts legacy for one and then i have also this uh big tv which i will use for racing games uh mainly play f1 uh, on this screen lah. and yeah it's just a very big screen that i can use and then we have this um keyboard uh, it's from it's a midi keyboard from play control uh and basically it's used to do all my you know keyboarding stuff <laughs> i feel like i'm very being very redundant here but yeah there's nothing much i can say about it and then here um, we have this macbook that i actually use for work uh, my full-time job so yeah there's there's that and for our keyboard actually we have uh, i have a uh, razor onata uh, this is an old onata which is yeah, it's just I want to be replacing this soon uh, with either Huntsman V2 analog or something like that. Uh, yeah, because a lot of it, all the keys have been gone. And then for all the audio people out there, um, yeah, currently my audio setup is using a Focusrite as the audio interface. It's a Scarlet Solo. I'm planning to upgrade it to a Claret Plus V2. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, because it actually is much better, it has much more outputs and inputs, yeah. And yeah, this is also connected to my um, headphones, yeah. So this is connected to my headphones and mic, and the headphones are down here, which, um, yeah, it's it's a bigger dynamic, dynamic headphones. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take it out and show you guys. Yeah, so... It's the Beta Mink DT1990 Pro. Uh, it's an open back headphones, lah, which I mainly use for all the mixing, uh, mastering, recording, and everything. Lah. Basically, all in one, in a sense. Uh, I previously had another headphone. So, yeah. And these are connected to the Focusrite uh, audio interface. Fun fact is that this audio interface only supports up to 200 ohms of impedance, whereas my headphones are actually 250 ohms. So. I'll be changing this one soon, maybe. And yeah, this is then also connected to the Cloud Lifter, which if you guys uh, are into audio and everything, you should know that with a Cloud, you would have a Shure SM7B. And yeah, this is a dynamic microphone that I use for recording and everything uh, that I need. Lah. Yeah. And the sound quality is really great and it's on the uh, root microphone stand or boom arm as, as some might say. Yeah. And yeah, overall it's it's a very good mic, very good stand. It's absorbing a lot of the sound, so it's like not outputting a lot of the sound uh, that you would see. Yeah. Then I also have this um charger la. it's a apple MagSafe charger that's just on a on a design to fit stand yeah and this is mainly where my phone goes yeah and then um behind all this is all the cable management or wires that i it's very messy right now so i'm not gonna show you yeah and then this is my desk from omnidesk uh yeah it's omnidesk pro i think yeah it's the first version and yeah as you can see we can go up and down 
this number 4 preset is actually my preset for playing F1 games. Yeah, because it's it brings the it gives me more space below. Yeah. And when it put when it's put together it looks like this. Huh? So yeah, this is mainly my main setup, I guess. Yeah. So for the backdrop, right, because you know, uh in the past I think all my cover videos or everything, right, is mostly just um just this um I don't know how to describe it, it's just foam, I guess. It's like you know those noise cancelling foam. Yeah. I basically have it pasted all over the wall. I, I think you all can see from my previous videos and uh, now I actually have uh, like a new cabinet, a display cabinet, uh, which I actually use to um, store, not really store lah, it's more of just display. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted a better backdrop for like my videos and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, I'll show you guys now. So these are basically gifts that I got from my best friend. Uh, yeah, it was a Christmas gift if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, it's quite cute. I mean, there's this little towel bear or whatever that is. I actually don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. And then there's my name and yeah, it's cool. Then moving down here, um, these are just some crystals, I guess, and some rocks, which I don't really know the meaning of. And moving further down, we have Okay, these are basically not gonna be in frame whenever I do covers and stuff already. So these are more of just like maybe a bit of storage, and you know, the typical Apple products, you know, need to take out the box and then just put it there. <laughs> yeah, and then you can see the bear dynamic, uh, the headphones that I got that I showed you earlier. Uh, these, the box are here, like, basically these two other boxes. Yeah. And yeah, down here is my steering wheel, which I usually use for my racing games. And there's the mounts that come with it as well. And moving on, we have um, these stuff, which kind of are just there. Because I don't really know what else to put here. I just have some, like an Overwatch Oni, I think it was like a Genji knife or something like that. Because back in the day, I did use to play Overwatch. And yeah. And then we have a uh, Heimerdinger sort of statue, mini statue here. <laughs> and we have a Zetsh Rikun, and we of course have the Osmo DJI, which is the you know, the thing that I'm holding on right now because I'm using it to film. <laughs> yep, then down here we have our Shure SM7B packaging which I thought was really cool. Uh, I don't know why it says legendary micro vocal microphone. I don't know if that's needed, but okay. <laughs> it's quite nice and it fits pretty nicely in this like section. And then beside it we have our Nintendo Switch games with uh, Hyperplay um, tag. I got, uh, it's a stuff tag actually. And then down here, uh, we have more Pokemon stuff. Uh, I say more, but there's actually none on top. <laughs> yeah, but I actually bought these uh, Pokemon boxes, like ETBs, um, when, like more impulsively, I would say, because this was when I was in army. And a few of my friends, you know, they actually were in Pokemon cards also, and we just basically went to buy together. <laughs> And I just kind of went overboard and just bought too many which I actually don't really have a use for now so I'm just gonna display them and there's two of the same so yeah, go figure. Uh, yeah, and then I have this little astronaut light which actually is like a, you know, it's like a nebula light but uh, I found that it's actually not very useful because it doesn't really fit my space in a sense. Like it doesn't really fit the whole ambience of this whole room. Yeah, and then this is the... Um, it's, it's supposed to be a noise uh, isolator of some, of some sort, like, uh, I'm not sure what's the actual name of it because I can't think of it, my mind is quite blank right now. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be uh, put around the mic, I would say, and then it's supposed to help block out noise also, or absorb noise also. But currently I don't really use it because um, my microphone now is more of a dynamic mic because previously I was using a condenser mic which was more sensitive and I needed this to sort of block out the noise. But right now I'm using a dynamic mic so it's a bit less of an issue I would say. Yeah. So yeah, um, this is basically my whole room I guess. Uh, I really only have like um, the things that you see behind me, you know, my main desk and my display cabinet that is actually kind of like soft 
the only things that are even interesting or semi-interesting, I would say, because the rest are more of just, yeah, you know, it's there. Uh, you know, like the bed is there, uh, the fan is there, everything is just there. Yeah, so let me know what I can maybe improve on, I would say, because I think my desk right now uh, is still missing a few things, like, you know, the studio monitors, uh, upgrading all my uh, other equipment as well. But I think overall, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's coming together quite nicely. Previously, I didn't have this kind of even uh, setup, honestly. Uh, yeah, and this whole thing costs a lot, which isn't easy, I guess. That's why, you know, I had to find a full-time job and everything. And I'm more busy with my job right now, so I don't really have much time to um, make more videos and make more covers. Yeah, so still, you know, stick around. And uh, over time, I'll still, like, release a, a few, yeah. And mostly now, I'm just focusing on, like, uh, making new songs, original songs, yeah. So yeah, let me know um, if you know if you have any thoughts about my setup and my room in general. And yeah, I think I'll see you guys in the next cover.